Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a 40 amp lithium iron phosphate charger from Noefevo. So let's get started. All right, the things that come in the box are the actual charger itself, which is an all aluminum casing, which I'm very happy about. The charger also does have uh, like a, an installation plate on the bottom so you can screw it down onto a platform. Um, it also comes with an AC receptacle cord and the DC plug is actually a Anderson connector. All right, and as you can see, the wiring is six millimeters squared cabling, so it is right at around a 10 gauge wire, and it does have M8 uh, ring terminals. Unfortunately, this charger does not come with uh, like battery clamps, so you'll either need to buy those separately or look into another charger. All right, as you can see, I just plugged in the charger, but I don't have it connected to anything, and it looks like there is a, uh, a solid red light in here. A solid red light just means that it's on standby. You can see that it says solid red is standby. Charging, it will be flashing red and a full charge will be a solid green. I've got my connections connected to this battery, so let's go ahead and connect them up. All right, the red light is now flashing and the battery charger's fan has kicked on. Let's go ahead and check the amperage going into the battery. Yeah, look at that. 40, almost 40.9 amps going into this battery. I'm going to go ahead and let this charge up for, uh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. And then when I come back, we're going to use an infrared camera to look at the heat that is building up on the cabling. And maybe we'll check out the sound to see how loud it is. All right, well, this Noah Fevo. 40 amp lithium iron phosphate charger has been going for about an hour now and so let's check out the temperature of this unit and see what that's like. All right now looking at the charger it looks scary by being a bright bright yellow but look at the gauge on the side it's only showing 98 degrees Fahrenheit which is you know that's body temperature. None of this stuff nothing about this is warm at all. Let's check this other side over here. Let's see. This side, this side is warmer. It is around 115 degrees, but still. And you can see uh, the bottom right here where it was sitting. You know, the bottom is probably another 115 degrees. Yeah, the high temperature on the bottom looks like it's to be about 100, 104, 105. So no big deal and see the wiring going to the battery. Yeah, look at that. I mean, these conductors are only 90 degrees. They are well below what is considered unsafe. These are perfectly fine. Yeah, so nothing about this charger uh, is concerning when it comes to temperature at all. All right, and also I'm about a foot away from this charger, about 12 inches. And here is what the decibels are right around 53 so not bad at all in comparison if i were to unplug the charger here is what the decibels in this room are currently and after an hour of charging this charger is still pumping out the 40 amps that it guarantees all right so if you're looking for a charger that is powerful enough to be able to charge up your 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that's of a 12 volt variety in under three hours you're talking about two and a half hours for this 40 amp charger to completely charge up a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery now this thing stays well within the realm of safety when it comes to the temperature after an hour and the cabling itself is nice and thick uh, i don't see any issues with the sheathing being stripped or cut the Anderson power pole has a very nice connection. It's not loose at, by any means. The one thing that I wish this unit had was an off on switch. It does not have that. So as soon as you plug it in, it's ready to go. But besides that, I would say it's a pretty good unit for charging up your lithium iron phosphate batteries. So if you have any questions about the Noah Fevo 40 amp lithium iron phosphate 12 volt charger, uh, go ahead and please leave them in the comments. 
Um, I'll have a link to this in my description just so you can look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.